Hey guys, my name is Samantha Holly, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing stretches to relieve your lower back pain. Lower back pain actually affects about 80% of people worldwide and it is something that if you don't know how to take care of it or um, relieve the pain, it can be a real big problem. So that's what we're doing today. All you need is your body weight and if you have one, um, grab a foam roller. We're only going to be using the foam roller for one of these exercises, but still it's great to have. It is a great tool for not only your back pain, but uh, really being your muscle tightness and helping with injury recovery. All right, so find a soft surface and we'll go ahead and get started. So you're going to want to start in a pike position. If you don't know what that means, it's just your legs straight out in front of you. I'm going to show you the correct way and the wrong way to do this and different angles too. So your back should not be curved. It should be straight up nice and tall. Um, leaning forward, you want to really extend that lower back. So think about almost arching and you want to be flat over your body, not curved, if that makes sense. So stretching out, elongating that spine, reaching as far as you can go and holding at the bottom. Next, you're gonna cross one leg over, having your foot on your leg and knee up comes out to the side. You're gonna pull that other foot up and scoot your bottom towards your knee. Same with this one, I want you to elongate your spine. Think about almost arching that back. Um, and then I'm going to show you a different angle. You can even tell the difference with your stretching when you're slouching and when you're sitting up nice and tall, you get a much deeper stretch. And you should feel it right here. Okay, then we're moving into a butterfly stretch, a good old favorite of mine. So push down on those knees, leaning forward, same thing, elongate that spine, and tuck your head under. You want to hold these stretches for about 15 to 30 seconds. All right, next we're going to bring it into a pigeon pose. So one leg should be back behind you and straight, and the other leg should be in front of you and bent. Square out those hips, so that means I want your hips to not be turned to the side. And start sitting up nice and tall, squeezing the glutes just a little bit, and then after about 15 seconds, I want you to bend over and fold onto your leg. So here's another angle. All right, next we're gonna be laying on our back. You're gonna bring one knee up to the chest, pulling down, other leg is gonna be straight. You're gonna bring your knee to the outside of your body and then rotating the knee across the body and making sure that arm is stretched out to the side. Go ahead and do both legs. You're gonna bring both knees up to the chest and interlock your hands together on top of your knees. I want you to pull yourself off the ground and think about pushing your knees onto your hands and you resisting. So you want a nice little stretch in the back. All right, this one's a funny one, but bear with me, this is really gonna help you. So. Holding your feet, you're gonna press down, bringing your knees towards the ground. All right, next so you're gonna be on your hands and knees. I want you to arch your back and slowly breathe in and out. And when you arch your back, I want your head to come up. And when you hollow your back, I want your head to come down and really relax. Um, and then you're going to take it side to side, making a little C curve out of your back and body. All right, once you're done with that, stretch it back, push those hips, bring the arms forward, and then we're gonna bring it into a seal pose. So. 
on our tummies, you're gonna bring your elbows to the ground, pushing on those shoulder blades, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core, and just releasing that back tension. All right, now it's time for the foam roller. So grab your foam roller, you're gonna sit on top. You want the foam roller to be right on that lower back. So make sure you're positioning it right. Just keeping the foam roller there is gonna release so much tension. This works well with a yoga block as well. But if you don't have one of those, that's totally fine. Next, to make this stretch a little bit more engaging, bring one leg out to straight and one leg up to the knee. You wanna think about tucking the belly button in and hollowing out the body. Um, another way to think about this is to bring the belly button all the way to the ground. All right, and that's all I have for you today. If you have an injury that you'd like me to um, cover, some stretches, some pain relieving exercises, leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support your girl. And yeah, I'll see you next time.